Hi there, I'm Dave Mack from presentationblogger.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about gestures and how you can use gestures effectively in a presentation or public speaking and also how many many people use gestures ineffectively in presentations and public speaking. Okay, so there are good ways, there are bad ways to use gestures in our presentations. Now, the bad ways, the ways that a lot of training courses will tell you to use gestures is to practice them. Okay, when you say the word big, you should do this. When you say small, you should do this. When, uh, when you uh, talk about something being amazing, you should do this. Um, and there's a big problem with being taught that we should do gestures this way. The reason there's a problem with this is when you uh, think about the gestures that you're trying to say, when you practice the gestures that, uh, that you have to do in your public speaking or your presentation, uh, what happens is you focus your mind on trying to remember, I've got to say this in my speech, also I've got to do this when I say it. So you're so focused on what you have to do that you can't connect with the audience. You, um, you, can't, uh, you can't effectively and naturally get your speech out to the audience. And because of that, what happens is the audience becomes disengaged. And you look a little bit like a robot when you are, when you are delivering, delivering your presentation. Okay, so if you actually think about it, gestures are best done when they're natural. When you're not thinking about it, gestures are just a way that help you emphasize what you're saying and uh, how to describe things like time. Okay, but it's all happening without you actually thinking about doing it. Let me give you an example. Let's imagine you meet your friend in the shopping mall and you're talking to your friend. Uh, when you when you talk to your friend, you don't think about the gestures that you're doing. You just naturally use gestures to help you explain what you are saying. So let's imagine you're talking about uh, you're talking about your morning. You meet your friend in the shopping mall and you're talking about your morning. You naturally talk about what's happened to you. So you say, Ah, oh, I had to wake up so early this morning. Uh, when I woke up, I did some cleaning. Then I had to make breakfast for the kids. After that, uh, I had to make sure the kids had all their, their books ready in their bag, and then I drove them to school. Uh, by the time I got home, I had to do some cleaning, and then it was almost time to go and pick the kids up from school again. By the time I picked the kids up from school, it was, uh, it was their baseball practice, so I had to drive them to baseball practice. It's been a nightmare of a day. Um, I'm, I'm pretty glad it's over. I'm going to relax with a wine tonight. Now, if we tell the same story and we are actually thinking long and hard about the gestures that we're doing, we'll be doing gestures like this when we're talking about driving, when we're talking about cleaning, when we're talking about baseball practice, when we're talking about the wine we're going to have later, um, it, when we're talking about how tired we are, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Okay? You, wouldn't, you wouldn't talk like this to a friend. And because you wouldn't talk like this to a friend, you shouldn't do that while you're doing a presentation either. Because we want to talk in the same way as we would in a normal conversation. That's how we engage our audience. Okay, so the key thing about gestures is to just let them happen naturally. Okay, of course we don't want to stand with a closed body position, but we also don't want to be practicing and saying small and big and tired and drinking and things like that. Okay, so the key, to, uh, the key to effective gestures is to allow them to happen naturally. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I'm Dave Mack and please subscribe to my channel and visit me at presentationblogger.com. See you.